Almost two months after this violent video was released, the officer seen throwing punches at the man on the ground has been fired. Former Euclid police officer Michael Amiot was let go today after an internal investigation. Channel 3's Josina Drakeford was in Euclid. In fact, she's been covering the story from day one and has more on what led to today's decision. Josina, good evening. Good evening, Russ. Now, there are not a lot of details that have been released on this investigation, but there was a sigh of relief from some residents in Euclid after the outcome. But for others, this is not the end. It's just the beginning. This was August in Euclid when 25 year old Richard Hubbard was forcefully arrested by Officer Michael Amiot during a traffic stop. But it's not the first accusation of excessive violence from the former Euclid officer. According to reports, he was asked to resign from Menor Police Department. The reason, lying on a police report. In Euclid, just this year, Amiot was accused of multiple incidents. In April, video shows what appears to be a teenager being roughed up by him at the Euclid library. In July, Sean George, a Euclid city worker, claimed excessive force as well, with pictures to show after he says officers beat and pepper sprayed him for recording this arrest. Weeks later in August, the outrage boiled over. Amiot was suspended for 15 days. Then Mayor Kirsten Gale added 30 more as the investigation continued. According to a statement released by the mayor's office, that investigation showed more than the city was gonna put up with. It says in part, quote, after a review, I found Amiot had violated additional departmental rules, including conduct unbecoming and courtesy, calling into serious question his suitability as a Euclid police officer. He was fired today. He's fired, that's the beginning. Now we want charges. Longtime Euclid resident Damian Parker has been vocal throughout the whole investigation. If you really want to prove that what you're about is, is fair policing and, and bringing the community together, show us. He, along with others who live here, say firing an officer is step one, not the final step. When I see someone with a badge, I shouldn't have to be on my guard. I should be able to relax because this person is there to protect me and look out for me. And it's been the exact opposite so far. Well, there's still the belief that more work has to be done to restore faith and trust with Euclid Police Department. And that's partly because there's another incident that community leaders say has been swept under the rug. An officer involved shooting that ended the life of Luke Stewart. Black Lives Matter activist Kareem Henton explains. The case uh, with Luke Stewart, where it's a fact that officer, Officer Matthew Rhodes, should not have been in the car with Luke. You walk up to a car, if someone's in a car and you're approaching that car, you knock on the window, you block that car so that that car can't move. You don't manufacture a situation in which you have to use deadly force. Officer Matthew Rhodes was not charged in that shooting. Five months after the incident, he was put on desk duty. The sentiment in the city now, as you heard, is charges for Amiot. Well, we'll keep everyone updated on any new information as we get that rest for quite sure. A, quite an intense time out there following this incident, certainly. Absolutely. All right, Rosina, thanks a lot.